Here are eight mods that you need to try if you drift in BMNG. We have four cars and four maps you probably haven't used for drifting and you probably should, especially if you're newer to drifting or BMNG. These will help you out a little bit. Number one, the drift truck. This seems silly because the first vehicle isn't actually a mod, it's a base game vehicle. And it is, it is one of the most underrated drift vehicles in the game. I may be biased to looks because I love mini trucks, but out of all the cars in this game, this is probably the easiest one that I have found to drift. This is a supercharged 6-speed, 8-cylinder truck that you can find at the bottom of the D-Series page. I usually drift this truck in first and second gear. One thing I love about this truck is you can keep it in second gear when you're pretty much a dead stop and it can keep the tires spinning. I do left foot brake in this truck quite a bit to keep the tires spinning and just to kind of balance things out since it is a pretty short wheelbase it likes to get whippy and that kind of helps. Number two, the Hoonigan Donut Garage. Odds are you watch Hoonigan if you're watching this video right now so that means that you'll appreciate the map as much as I do. This map's a tiny bit buggy and a little bit pixelated but I've been watching so many cars shred the Donut Garage I was just beyond stoked to be able to try it myself. There's something about hitting the tight area drifts that's just so much fun. I've been considering doing a whole series dedicated to this map, just drifting different cars, trying to hit the man line. Let me know in the comments if that's something you'd want to see. I will make at least one whole video here at the Donut Garage going through a handful of different cars trying to hit the man line. So if you have any specific car requests, just drop them in the comments. Whether they've already been done on the Hoonigans channel before or it's something ridiculous, feel free to drop a comment. Suggest a vehicle for me to try to hit the man line in. Your comment might make it in the next video. We'll for sure be doing the E46 in respect to Joey DS. But moving on to number three, the Corvette C5. I might have more time driving this car than any other mod in the game. The force feedback, the handling, power to weight, and grip to slide ratio is all just perfect. Bone stock with no drifting suspension or angle kits makes it kind of tough to hold more angle with this car. But in my opinion, it makes it more fun and more realistic for street skids. This car is so satisfying to do donuts with and brake torque tight transitions and small corners and that's why it had to make it onto the list. Small tight transitions just like the transitions at this gas station, one of my favorite spots to drift on our number 4 mod on the list, Rocky Coast USA. This one almost didn't make it on the list but I have an ungodly amount of time trying to hit one specific drift jump on this map over some railroad tracks so I had to include it. This is a really great realism driving map with working AI traffic, but the small town is a lot of fun for hitting some drifts. There's a few different lines that you can hit, including the gas station, but the main thing I'm after is this drift jump, which brings me to number five, the drift van. Another non-modded vehicle on a modded vehicle list. I know, it's crazy. But nobody talks about this drift van, so I figure that the gaming van guy has to mention it. By the way, I have a direct drive sim rig and a camper van. Subscribe and check out the channel if that interests you at all. But I think it has the same frame and drivetrain as the previous drift truck on the list, and that's why I say this van is so easy to slide, because it feels a lot like that truck. But it is one of the easiest cars to drift in this game. It almost has like a Car X feel to it, or kind of like Gravy Garage on Assetto Corsa with the 90s tires. And one of my favorite places to drive the drift van is the Desert Expanse map. This is by far my favorite place to drift in BMNG, and it might be one of my favorite places to drift out of any game I've played. There's so many different line options you can hit on this map. It's one of those courses where you can just kind of let the car drive itself on its own path, all on really level ground, and that makes it really easy just to kind of float the car from corner to corner, letting the car steer to what one it wants to hit next. And just when you thought that this list couldn't get any more weird, prepare yourself for the last two drift mods in the video. The last vehicle of the list is going to be the Ford F-350 and we're going to be drifting that at the Derby Arena. Hear me out, this truck does brake stand donuts and rolling burnouts like no other. It drives and drifts so smooth, the force feedback is really light so you have to demand the wheel a bit, but that's what part of makes this truck so easy and fun to slide. Combine that with a wide open concrete patch and work on perfecting your donuts. Try to take them from tight to wide and then back down to tight again. Maybe spawn in a couple of cones or a couple of cars to do figure eights and donuts around. Or just go full Aussie, put your foot to the floor and whip the truck around until the engine blows up in the middle of the burnout pit. But either way, it's going to be a fun time. I do enjoy driving this F-250, especially on the snowy maps and just drifting it around as it's such a smooth vehicle to drift. But that's it. If you guys have any suggestions that I missed, if you have any drift mods that you love more than any, drop them in the comments. I know that the main ones I left out of the video... I didn't want to mention the 200BX and all the mods that everyone else mentions, but if those are one of your favorites, comment below. Let me know what your favorite car to drift is and what your favorite map to drift on is. That's it. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like. If you're new around here, subscribe. Dance Gaming Van is traveling across the U.S. while playing all sorts of different sim racing and other video games. If 
that's something that intrigues you, I'd appreciate it if you stuck along for the travels. But that's it. Check me out on other social medias if you want to see the live streams or more frequent posts. I have videos on my entire setup from the van to the sim rig on my page, so if that's something that interests you, all that information is there. Also in the description, there's links for my stickers, shirts, and affiliate links for the entire rig that I use. So if you're wanting to help me out, support the channel in any way, those are all ways that you can do it. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I appreciate the watch time. Peace.